What is up guys? Welcome to today's video. Uh, in today's video, man, we're just chilling. We're just kicking it. Uh, at the moment, as you can hear, the sticker machine, really loud and obnoxious going off. We're uh, thinking of introducing three new colors in their own little tier. So so what I was planning on doing was I was going to think of having... Yeah, I'll, I'll step outside for a sec. What I was planning on doing was I was thinking of doing um, a flex of the month with some chrome stickers. But then I thought that mm, maybe they won't flex enough to be their own Flex of the Month stickers. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm going to introduce another tier to the website where we've got the, still got the normal colors, but then we've also got the Chrome stickers. Now they do cost a few dollars extra just because the material costs a bit more and it's a bit harder to work with. So it's just like costs of production go up a little bit. But yeah, so now at the moment, we're gonna have a red Chrome, rose gold Chrome, green Chrome. Cause I know there's a lot of people out there with like the poison ivy VEs and everything like that that want a green colored sticker. Um, so I'll give you a look at those right now as we're cutting them. So we've got, this is the rose gold, looks wicked. We'll put it on a car in a sec so we can see it. Uh, this is the red chrome, which looks freaking nuts. I think I'm gonna have to put one of these in a wagon. And then at the moment we're cutting up some chrome green. And then we'll uh, be able to cut these out and show you, just so we can show you what they look like on the car kind of thing. Because they do look wicked and they're coming out freaking sick. Now it's been great to see that most of you are starting to get your Flex of the Month stickers, which is awesome because we were able to smash out most of the orders. But still, we're hounding suppliers trying to get the last of that uh, the material in so we can finish off the last of the orders. They are coming and we do apologize for being a bit unprofessional and not being prepared, but we didn't think you guys would go as crazy as it did, like we said in the last video. Alrighty, so we'll finish off doing these stickers. Then uh, we'll jump downstairs, chuck them on a car, chuck them on a window, just so you can see what they look like out in the sun. And then, uh, yeah, I think the wagon is due for a wash because it is hella dirty. And I really want to see that front splitter out in the sun with a clean car. So uh, I think we'll uh, pull the car out and wash it today. And also, as you guys will probably notice, we had a bunch of stickers cut already. That's because this time we learnt, and uh, just in case you guys go crazy with this one too, we bought a bunch of vinyl first off, then cut them all so that when we go to sell them, we'll actually have the stock on hand so we can just send them out straight away. Ooh, that looks good. God, that looks so good. Keen to see it further outside, I guess. That's not a word, but shut up. Oh, it's very dead. Did I leave something open? All right, now to jump start the car. Trusty little Ford Focus to the rescue. It's the smallest battery we've got with the smallest engine we own, yet it seems to somehow jump start the wagon every time it dies. Which is really weird, because I swear I only drove it Oh, it's probably be two weeks ago now, but normally that wouldn't kill the battery there. There must be a drain in the car somewhere, which is really annoying, but I don't know, maybe we'll put an isolator switch in or something. I don't know, we'll figure something out. But that's really bizarre. I can, can you, you can hear the, the alternator and the, uh, the focus struggling, struggling a lot. And uh, the car's not, I'm not even trying to turn the car on, the doors aren't open, nothing. But uh, we'll try my old little trick of just, uh, just ever so slightly wedging a pull noodle in against the accelerator. Because in case you didn't know, um, an alternator, you know how people rev an engine when they're trying to jump start a car? An alternator will be at max output at around about 2,000 revs. So there's no point revving the tits out of it. There's no point on and off and on and off. If you just sit it, sit the revs around two grand, that's max output of the little alternator that you've got in almost any car. So yeah, we'll just sit that there for a while, let it charge her up, and then we'll uh, try and get a wagon started. Alrighty, so it's now out here. It's a little bit sunnier than I would have liked it to be, but still is middle of winter in Canberra will start a winter. So it's only like, I don't know, like 12 degrees and I haven't got much burn from the sun. Regardless, start anyways. Now you can hear, that's like the air bubbles getting out of the line. So I just let the water flow through by itself for a while. Ooh, rainbow. Yeah, starting here less and less. All right, now you can turn the pump on. Otherwise it won't be pressurized right when you go to spray. Like that. There's me one painted wheel. I promise I'll get around to painting the other sooner or later. But uh, there's the, uh, the glitter and the flex of the month. That looks pretty freaking sick. We will sell these and we can figure out like, because the glitter's so aggressive, they have like a really odd texture to them. Um, and it's just enough that it, it makes it troublesome for the uh, backing paper to stick to it. But they are freaking cool. 
nonetheless. And then there's this month's flex of the month, which most of you guys are receiving as we speak. Looks wicked. All right, I guess I'll get back to doing this. God, it even looks just so good with water beating off it. So nice. Now I did just set up a time lapse with the camera here, looking at the car, but I don't think it worked. Because the freaking, I don't know what it is with the software in this phone, but the, uh, the time lapses for some reason never work. Now I will do the rest in the graphite or the like gunmetal gray, but I think I do like them better as silver. What do you think? That front lip does come out a ripper. Like, I, don't, I didn't know how I felt about it at first, but just like, the more and more I look at it, oh, so good. Wait, do you want to start now? Can I start now? Wait, now? No, now. Now? Did you start it? No, like But is it actually going? No, when I feel like it. Okay. Is it going? Of course it's okay. going. No, Leo, get your head out. Now, of course, just after I finish everything, uh, the camera fills up, so I had to delete a bunch of stuff, but now we're on drying. So yeah, I'll jump down there and I'll dry the car off. So now we just start the fun process of dragging the big ass. I forget what they call these things, but they are great. This is what happens when they're not fully wet or damp yet. They kind of just push the water around. But once you go over it a couple times, once they're good, there we go, they start soaking up lots of water. Alrighty, just like that, we've got a nice washed car. Ah, oh, I know I say it every video, but I cannot wait for the new wheels to arrive. Don't worry, I know they're out of place. They won't stay there forever, just uh, just for now. They're literally just there to take photos of. That woman was looking at me weird. Um, yeah, I do really love that. It does look freaking sick. I like fall in love with it more and more every time I look at it. So last night we picked up some VL doors for uh, for my mate Tim for a build that he's got at the moment. Um, one of the builds he's got going at the moment. So even though we just perfectly cleaned the wagon to uh, stick the stickers on there, we may as well use this because it'll be good for a uh, good for a photo op of just having the doors and stuff. And they're only stickers, so uh, he can peel them off later if he wants. Oh, it's all nah, three. do it on an angle. Um, no, I might put one of them on the uh, on the front door. It's like that. Yeah. All right, I clean the glass a little bit so you can see them a bit better, but. They look great. We will add more. We did have like a silver chrome sticker, but it just didn't want to work with the cutter and everything. And it kept tunneling, which if you know vinyl, you know what that means. And it just makes everything a nightmare. But these three are up on the website right now. If you want to grab any of these colored chrome ones. This one is done. So I should probably put the beastie back in bed. Oh, I wish there was some more events that we could go to. Just snap my fingers, turn it into a burnout car and go to the Burnout Masters event next month in uh, in Sydney. That'll be sick. But uh, at least for now, this is gonna be it. It's gonna be as good as it gets. But we got some big things in the plan, so it will look sick, sicker sooner. Well, anyways guys, that's gonna be the end of this video. Uh, we're pretty much just chilling, washing the car, making some more stickers. I uh, just really wanted to get it out and about. But uh, yeah. That's going to be the end of today's video. So if you are new here, make sure you subscribe. And also while you're at it, make sure you hit us up on Instagram. We're almost at 2,000 followers on the picnic page and I'm almost at 4,000 followers on my personal page. So make sure you hit those up. And uh, yeah, I guess for now at least, this will be it. I'll catch you guys in the next one, Monday, 6 p.m. Make sure you're there. Be there or be square. Alrighty, guys. Peace. I've been in thugging, you bitching and bugging, there's nothing that we got in common. I've been out grinding and hustling, investing this paper, got tired of eating that ramen. All of my music be heat, I ain't missing a beat, I've been blessed with impeccable timing. Watch all them people who friendly, it turn into envy whenever they see that you shining. Okay, I'm